Good morning. I'm Joyce Wallace. I'm with SCORE SC Low Country Chapter, and we're here today. I'm here today with Karen Casey, and we are doing our second in a series of Meet the Mentors. And so I am have been a SCORE mentor for about two years. I am co-leading uh, the Social and Media Marketing Committee with Karen. So Karen and I are both very excited about launching this program. And the purpose is really to help folks understand more about SCORE, hopefully want to get involved in SCORE, and make it easy to make sure small businesses know where to find us. SCORE is a nationwide organization, and we offer free, confidential information and help to small businesses. We like to say for the life of the business, and so we're here to help, and hopefully folks are very eager to either participate or certainly seek a mentor. So without further ado, I am going to, um, to uh, introduce Karen. I want to uh, start a little bit, a short little bio, and then we'll transition to some, some Q&A. Karen started her career with a uh, big eight accounting firm, Cooper's Libran. Uh, she's worked for various big, small, medium, international banks in New York City and New Jersey holding various positions, uh, Chief Financial Officer, Head of Retail and Business Banking, Chief Credit Officer, and Chief Risk Officer, among some of the positions that she's held. Very impressive resume and certainly a lot of experience to share with our small businesses here in the Low Country. No doubt this is why Karen has become, and I think volunteered to become, our expert in the uh, PPP and COVID uh, related CARES Act. Uh, certainly not an easy thing to interpret, but she has been and stepped up to be our liaison with the SBA to help our small businesses understand what are the deadlines, what are the programs all about. And so we're very appreciative of Karen's efforts and I'm sure she'll touch on some of those. Uh, with that, uh, thank you, Karen, for enjoying, for uh, agreeing to do this with us. Thank you. And I'm just going to jump into a few sure. questions. Absolutely. Okay. Great. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became involved in SCORE. Um, I'm a transplant, as most people are down here in, uh, you know, beautiful Hilton Head Bluffton. Um, we moved down here about two years ago, but I'm from the New York, New Jersey area, born and raised in Brooklyn, for those who are from Brooklyn, so uh, always appreciate some uh, old co cohorts, uh, <laughs> but lived in New Jersey for over 30 years, and we used to vacation down here, so of course the pull of the south and the beach and everything and the warm weather got us down here probably uh, uh, about two and a half years ago. Uh, when I got here in one of the local uh, magazines, is there was an article regarding uh, SCORE. And while I knew of them, I didn't know of them down here. Um, and they interviewed our chapter chair, Rod Cassavant. And I said, you know what? That's something I need to do because I need to keep myself fresh. I retired about three years ago, but I'm certainly not a person that stays at home. So I volunteered. I've been with SCORE about 18 months now. And your background certainly is prime for helping small businesses. Mm. Yeah. I mean, having a finance background, obviously, it's always one of the challenges that businesses have. Um, people have technical skill sets. So whether they want to do a hair salon or, you know, install granite or a cabinet maker, technically, we have some very talented people here. But it's usually when you talk to them about numbers that their eyes glaze over and say, hmm, not my forte. I leave that to the accountant and bookkeeper. So I'm there to sort of help them along. Excellent. What type of small businesses have you worked with here? In a oh. short time, I know you have a lot of clients. I have a lot of clients. Um, I have a, a good diversity of clients. I have everyone who installs granite, tile. Um, I have an, a tour bus company. I have a fitness center. I have a cafe owner. I have an indoor soccer facility. I have someone who provides um, health services for um, obviously on elder care. You name it, I've probably touched a little bit of it. It's, uh, it's very exciting. Very good, keeping you busy for oh, sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like most about participating in SCORE? The clients. I learn as much from the clients as they learn from me. Because I just sit there and listen to them and, you know, First, being new down here, there are, obviously, I don't know the area that well, I mean, obviously, as best as I could, but they teach me so much, and they teach me so much about their own business, you know, and about the various different things. I, I, just, I just love my clients, and then, quite frankly, the mentors themselves, 
we have a really, we have, we run between 30 and 40 mentors here. And we have a really good group of people that it's just, it's good camaraderie, we help each other. So there's absolutely no hesitation that if there's a challenge with a client and it's outside my area of expertise, I pick up the phone and call somebody and say, hey, can you help me with this? And sure enough, I'll find an answer. And I think with the transition to not in-person meetings mm -hmm. and doing things over Zoom, has really helped our camaraderie. We have, mm -hmm. as you say, a really good team. Mm -hmm. But again, when you're back, you know, you're back against the wall, working mm -hmm. in a different environment, uh, and Zoom is very friendly. I feel mm -hmm. like, do you feel the same? I feel the same. And what's interesting is that we're, you know, location-wise, that you know, we we move our meetings around. But Zoom allows people who may have a 45-minute or hour commute to where our meeting place would normally be to be there. Yeah. Commute's real easy. I keep, <laughs> keep telling our chair, I really love our commute to our meetings because I just have to get to my computer uh, when we go on Zoom. But yeah, you get more people to participate, more people to get involved, um, and I think it's just great for everybody. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you talked about you have a lot of clients. Mm -hmm. um, how much time is really involved? Well, you know, a mentor can put as much time or as little time as, as is needed. Um, you can have as small as three clients, or I have over 20 clients. Um, I'm also involved, as you mentioned, in a number of committees. I also do the partnership committee. Um, I also am part of doing workshops and education. I do a lot of the finance workshops. Um, so honestly, you know, my time is based on what I want to do personally and to get out of my husband's hair. Um, so, which is great, you know, he's very happy. I'm not in the house, so I'm running around, and well, now I'm up on the computer while he's <laughs> doing his thing. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you could put as little or as, as, as small enough time or as much time as you so want. Excellent. What, what is the Partnership Committee? Maybe the folks would like to understand a little bit about that. Yeah, the Partnership Committee, um, you know, it was originally a fundraising committee. Uh, we're a nonprofit. So similar to any nonprofit, anything we do is based on how much the, the ability to obviously raise funds. We get a, a certain amount of money, not a lot, from our national headquarters, which is up in Virginia. So anything we do, workshops or any type of advertising or help that we uh, put out, has to be fundraised. So we have a partnership committee where we have a wonderful group of people. In fact, you're on the partnership committee. Um, and that we sit around and start saying, okay, what can we do? And what's happened with the whole COVID uh, crisis is a lot of our partners, our corporate partners, are saying, what can we do to help? And scores of perfect avenue for us to give you money so you could reach out to the community and whether that's doing workshops or doing community outreach or whatever it's needed to give people the information in order to be able to survive. And so partnership is not just fundraising, it's also, you know, the Hilton Head Chamber is our partner. Thanks to them, we're doing this video, which is absolutely wonderful. That's the type of partnerships we need in order to get the word out. And it's great. Excellent. So true. So, um, I know clients can be very interesting and very challenging mm -hmm. and is the kind of the heart of what we do. We mm -hmm. get our satisfaction doing that. Can you share maybe what was one of your most challenging uh, clients from a standpoint of uh, helping them? Yeah, I mean we have, the, the, the process to get a mentor is you go online, score.org, ask for a mentor, and you put a little information in there about what you want a mentor to do. Well. Obviously, this person went on board, um, and I'm like, okay, I picked them up as, as a, a client. Didn't realize their issue was a condemnation they were dealing with because one of the facilities next to them, which was owned by the county, they were being evicted. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, interesting. And I sort of knew there was something going on in that um, back in my good old days back in New York City, but obviously from a banking side, is I had been getting involved with, I did get involved with some evictions and condemnations. Mm -hmm. But that was 30 years ago. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So I sat down, met with the client. Once I understood what they were uh, needed, did a whole bunch of research on South Carolina laws here, right. called our legal partners and said, okay, Give me a clue, folks, where I could find this information. And then, obviously, got the client to a certain point, and then beyond that, found them uh, legal advice to say, these are people you need to call. I am not an attorney. I can give you a big picture. I can walk you through the beginning of it. But here's the attorneys you should call. And um, they're, you know, they're off and running, and obviously, they 
a new facility, they're getting ready to move. Uh, it's a very big deal, but it, it's it's gone well. It's gone very so well. that particular experience had you lean in a little bit oh, and work yes. out of your comfort zone, yet mm -hmm. you have a team of mentors and others yep. and other resources that yep. are there for you. Yeah, what the beauty of, of SCORE is that it's not just me going talking to a client. I co-mentor a number of clients because I know they need something outside my expertise. Or other mentors ask me to walk in to say, hey Karen, you know, can you help me? Especially with this recent SBA loans and PPP and IDLE and forgiveness and it's so complicated. You know, I'm constantly getting phone calls both from clients and other mentors saying, can you help me? Um, what are the issues? And if I don't have the answer, I have a direct line to the SBA to ask them a question. And they have been fabulous in which generally within 24 hours they will answer my question. That has been really valuable and mm -hmm. I know, you know, your fellow mentors really appreciate that because mm -hmm. that kind of raises the bar for yep. all of us yep. and also our clients certainly mm -hmm. appreciate it because many uh, would be extremely frustrated on top of all the other challenges mm -hmm. they're dealing with so that has really kind of streamlined a very complicated process. Yep. Can you describe maybe one of your most proud achievements as being a SCORE mentor? Well, I think the most proud achievement is being, uh, you know, as I said, I'm only here 18 months within SCORE. Uh, Does it feel longer? <laughs> some days, yes. Especially when we were going through the SBA and PPP things because that was, we made a commitment obviously to get back to clients very quickly and we did. So that was it. But the most proud achievement was be nominated uh, and awarded the Rookie of the Year last year. Uh, I mean, after only being here maybe a little over a year for the people to recognize that the hard work that we were doing uh, that we, and, and it was not just me you know this is where I keep telling people yeah I lead some of the parades but you know it's people like yourself and others that you know sort of support this whole thing because you couldn't do it without them well thank you we do appreciate it because you not only onboarded but you came in fast and furious mm -hmm. and and we all appreciate that for sure I'm going to switch things up a little bit yeah. and just do a little bit of rapid fire again mm -hmm. to get to know our mm -hmm. mentors and see a little bit behind the curtain mm -hmm. on who Karen Casey is so, what do you like to do when you're not volunteering and mentoring clients? Um, two things. I love to garden up in the northeast. Uh, I had a huge garden down here. I have a tiny little plot. Gardening is down here is a very different thing. I was very happy when I got my first tomato, so that oh, was really exciting. Oh, I my tomato. You know, um, so, uh, you know, but I'm still learning, and I'm also learning what deer don't eat, because that's obviously a very big issue down here. But I also love to kayak. Uh, we purposely, when we came down here, we got a house on, on a lake and we have a dock, and I love early in the morning or after dinner pushing my kayak out and just having a paddle for the evening, and it's just one of the most serene, relaxing things I can do. Fun, mm -hmm. fun. Uh, what gives you, uh, it might be that, what gives you the most satisfaction? Actually, the most satisfaction is seeing my, co my client accomplish what they want to do. You know, to me, as a mentor, is, um, you know, I always tell people, I'm not here to agree with you. I'm here to keep your feet on the ground and make sure you're going in the right direction and give you choices. It's up to you which choices you make, what you're comfortable with, it's your business. But when they listen to you and we have good conversations and then you see them accomplish what it is, to me, I'm like, okay, I've done it my does. job. It charges you up. It, it charges really you up. Does. I'm ready for the next one. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I were to ask your grown children how they would describe Karen, what would they say? Oh, okay. Um, obviously, um, giving and compassionate. Um, but also, um, you know, it's a bit of the, the accountant in me, you know, uh, you know, as far as, you know, I am... Um, I expect certain things to happen, you know, and they know I'm a nudge <laughs> if they don't. So if I've asked them to do whatever, and a week goes by and two weeks go by, and I'm like, remember that? Oh, yeah, ma. I'm like, you know I'm not going to give up. <laughs> They know. I keep after them. I can attest to that. Because Karen is putting the agendas out, doing the follow-up, and saying, all right, let's go. You're let's on this go. committee. Let's do it. Let's so, go. You've you got your assigned you responsibilities. Need. Let's go. That's right. That's for sure. So maybe in closing, you can tell us, what do you ex hope to accomplish with the future of SCORE? As you're uh, mm -hmm. part of our mm -hmm. executive committee mm -hmm. and helping us lead this organization as well as certainly delivering guidance to mentors, where do you see and what would you like to uh, accomplish with the future of SCORE? I'd like SCORE 
to be the go-to organization for small businesses. We cover quite a bit of territory. Our territory is Buford, Jasper, Colleton, and Hampton County. That's where we obviously, obviously look for clients and obviously try, obviously love to have uh, new mentors and volunteers in various roles. Um, I would love us to be the go-to organization. You know, if you look at statistics, 30% of businesses um, no longer exist after two years. 50% mm -hmm. disappear after five years. If you have a mentor, it's been shown that 70% of the businesses are still in business after five years. So I want that word to get out there. My heart breaks, especially now with what we're going through, when I see one of my favorite restaurants closing down mm -hmm. or my favorite stores closing down. And I'm like, yeah, maybe for this circumstance, maybe we couldn't have helped them, but had they reached out, uh, maybe we could have gotten them a loan. Maybe we could have helped them renegotiate their rent or their mortgage or whatever it was to help them. Um, so I'd like SCORE, for everyone to know that SCORE is there, SCORE is available to them, um, and that, you know, we want to help you succeed. Absolutely. That's what we want them to know. How about your, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit, how about your elevator pitch for new mentors? We need new mentors, mm. and you are here for a very short time, but making a difference. So okay. why should people get involved? I got involved personally because I wanted to give back. You know, I know my finance background and the business background. I knew there was a lot I can offer, and I knew finances was probably one of the, the biggest challenges small businesses have. But you don't have to be a mentor. Well, I would love volunteers to come on board and be a mentor. There are so many talented people here with such talented background. And that could be anything from marketing to engineering to how did you start up your first business to, you know, being a doctor and, and understanding all the protocols you need to do from a, uh, you know, obviously taking care of patients. Um, so I would love people to know not only are there roles as, as a mentor, you could be a subject matter expert. We have some people who are available that if we have a restaurant tour with specific questions, as well as in other industries. You also can have an administrative role. Um, we have two administrative roles that we're looking for right now. One is, as <laughs> both of us know, is on social media. Social media, as most of you know, take a lot of time. We would love someone to be the behind-the-scenes person to make sure we post content and get the information out there we need. And the second, as I mentioned earlier, you know, we have to we have to get and raise our own money. I would love an online grant writer. Again, behind the scenes. Plus, we reach out to people to say, if you have an expertise, we'd love you to do a workshop. You know, my husband was having, uh, was playing pickleball, and I happened to be up there chatting with one of his partners, and he says, well, I do QuickBooks. I'm like, oh, QuickBooks. Can you do a workshop on QuickBooks for us? And sure enough, he's doing a workshop on QuickBooks for us, Absolutely. you know, in September. Fantastic. There are so many roles you could fulfill, and it is all for the betterment of our community. Yep, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, this concludes our second Meet the Mentor. I think it was fun, Karen. Thank you so much for Absolutely. volunteering to do it. And as Karen said, we are looking for someone to help us in social media, so please reach out if that's your thing. We'd love to have you join our team, and please follow us on social media. Thank you. Thank you.